Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new NARS Power Matte Lipstick Afterglow Blush and also the NARS Primer. I was gifted these, so thank you to NARS for sending them to me. So I'm just going to get into it, but if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado, guys, here is the video. First thing I wanted to try was a new primer. As you guys know, I really like the Dior Forever Glow Primer, which I tried last year. It lasted me pretty much um, the entire time I bought since I bought it. I think it was a good nine months. Um, so I was really happy with that. I'm also going to be trying the Afterglow Liquid Blush that launched not very long ago that I haven't had a chance to try yet. And I'm also going to be trying the new NARS Power Matte Lip Pencil in the shade American Woman. As you guys know, I tried the lipstick on from NARS in the Power Mattes. Uh, lipstick last year i really really like that i use it a lot uh so i wanted to see what this lip pencil version or lipstick pencil version was like and how it wore i'm gonna start quickly with the primer just because i want to stop get my face started i was quite surprised that nars didn't have as many primers as i thought they would they had i think three so they had the radiance one which has spf they had a matte one and i think they had another i was looking for a radiance one without spf but i feel like i should be wearing spf every day anyway so it's not that bad i'm just hoping that it doesn't have like flashback and things like that but it seems very glowy already which is nice and my skin has, fe has been feeling very lackluster so i really wanted something that was going to give it a glow It has a bit of a scent to it, but it's not too bad. Definitely feels like it's made a difference already in reviving my complexion and just making it look a bit more glowy. Some people think that primer is just such an irrelevant step of your makeup uh, application, but the days I didn't wear any and just wore a moisturizer, I really saw my makeup break down so much quicker. It was just so much oilier at such an earlier stage, literally within like an hour or two of me applying my makeup. And so I just feel like primer is an absolute must have no matter what anyone says. It's just about finding the right one for your skin type and also for your skin tone as well. I really like this so far. I think even though it looked a bit pinky, it has a nice goldness to it which has really brightened up my complexion. So I think it looks quite good. Next up is blusher and I'm trying out the new NARS Afterglow Liquid Blush. I just made a slight boo-boo and put a little bit of powder bronze on top of my cream bronze just because I was in like the flow of like doing my makeup and I forgot. Um, I got this in the shade Insatiable, which seems like a nice shade. I haven't tried this before, but it looks quite nice. I like the packaging already very cool looks very disco and it's got a nice fat doe foot applicator the shade itself looks pretty as well this looks like a really nice lip shade actually it's quite berry kind of kind of reminds me of my rose ink delilah i'll just do one quite easy to apply I, think, I feel like this is a good one for winter and also potentially summer when I get a tan so let's see how it goes I think if I wasn't trying on the lipstick I would put this on my lips as well just because I think that would look really nice together This is the brand new Power Matte High Intensity Lip Pencil. It is a bold matte pencil that saturates lips in rich pigment with up to 12 hour staying power. It came in 10 shades and I was very confused between the ones I wanted. I knew I definitely wanted American Woman because I've tried that before and I've liked it before. I was also really intrigued by Valkyrie which just seemed a bit more kind of brown i would really want to try that but i just didn't bite the bullet on that one american rhapsody also looked nice as well it was quite hard to tell from the models that they used which one would be the best one on me and the reds look nice but as you guys know i've got so many reds i never wear so i felt like i shouldn't try a red but i'm excited to try this i'm gonna read you the blurb it says that american woman is a chestnut rose it is 24 pounds which is definitely a lot cheaper than the gucci lip gloss i tried the other day which i think was 
35 or 36 pounds and 42 US dollars. It says potency meets precision with Power Matte High Intensity Lip Pencil, a fully loaded matte lip formula charged with up to 12 hour staying power, transformative cream to matte texture, applies effortlessly and seals in a bold matte finish. Choose from 10 power shades and let lips dry down fully for transfer proof results. Pencil sharpener sold separately. So I thought that this had an inbuilt pencil sharpener but apparently it doesn't. So I'm going to show you the packaging, show you some swatches and then I'm going to get in to a demo. those are the swatches on I actually feel like the pencil version of this American Woman Power Matte lipstick is a little more intense it's a little bit more punchy a bit more concentrated than the actual lipstick in this in the original kind of lipstick bullet but they are the same shade it just feels a little bit pinker a little bit more intense a little bit punchier in the lip pencil lipstick version if that makes sense um i was thinking it would be more similar to the liquid lipsticks i tried recently but it's not really like any of them i'd say it's probably the most like my traditional lipsticks the hermes and the dior 100 i think it's kind of the perfect mix between those two but probably closer to the hermes um of the two especially the pencil version of this lipstick it did feel very creamy on it felt very silky i felt like the actual lip pencil itself it's just such a nice way to have a lip it's different I do like a classic bullet but I feel like the pencil is very easy to be precise uh, especially if it's a shade you can wear all over your lips I don't think from having tried it already in a lipstick traditional lipstick form that this will be something I can wear all over my lips although obviously I will try and we will have a laugh about the fact that it looks ridiculous but I think if it is a shade that you could wear all over your lips then it's quite handy to have a lip pencil version perhaps in a red or something like that for me the actual color looks really nice I love the packaging the way they've made it the pink all the way through i think it could have been nice to have the pink lid or a different color lid i feel like the black and the pink are quite jarring um but i do like the rest of the pencil i think that looks really nice i'm going to try it on firstly without any lip liner as i always do and then i'll try it on with lip liner i'm intrigued to see how this works as at lining the lips even though i don't think the shade is going to work very well on me uh, as a complete full-on lipstick i'm intrigued to see how the pencil itself works as a kind of liner and then a lipstick I have to say it does glide on so effortlessly it feels very silky obviously this isn't the right shade for a full lip for me but I do feel like it's very easy to use that if you want it to be transfer proof then you should just kind of let it dry down but this does feel very nice it feels very creamy very silky
So that's it on as a full lip. As expected, this shade is not a full lip shade for me, but I want to kind of feel how it dries down. So I'm going to leave it for a little bit just to see how it settles. It still feels very moisturizing, very creamy, and from a matte, that is so unusual and so rare. So that part of it, I'm really enjoying. The lipstick itself, it kind of feels a lot more matte at the beginning. It feels a little bit more dry in texture. I do like that about this it has that powdery finish although I do know it's going to slightly dry up my lips but sometimes I don't mind that in a weird way uh, this feels the opposite of that it feels very creamy much more moisturizing at the start so we're going to see how long it kind of takes to dry down and hopefully I don't get too freaked out by my face okay guys so I've let it dry down a little bit I didn't want it to dry down too much it's been about five minutes I do feel like it feels like a little bit drier than it did it definitely feel, feels like there's a little bit more pull than they used to be uh, when I first applied it so I do feel the dry down coming on but I want to take it off before it dries down completely and um, it's impossible to take off because obviously I need to wear this with a lip liner. I've got my lip liner on, my brown lip liner on. You guys know what it is. Um, so I'm going to pop on the NARS Power Matte Lips Lip Pencil now in the shade American Woman with a lip liner. I'm anticipating that this is going to change the game because I've worn this before as a lipstick with lip liner. So here we go. I do really like how silky this goes on. It feels a lot silkier than the actual lipstick in the bullet. It just feels like it just glides on, which I really, really like. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick close up of this with the lip liner. I feel like it looks better already. I feel sane, which is great. I definitely prefer this on with a lip liner. I feel like this is something I can just have in my bag that will just be so easy to use when I'm out, especially if I have my lip liner with me or if I've already lined my lips throughout the day. And I just need a little top up. I feel like this is nice. It feels very creamy. Um, it's starting to dry down a little bit quicker with the lip pencil, uh, the lip liner underneath. Uh, it feels maybe because it's got something to grip to, it's just drying down a lot quicker. So that's quite interesting um, to feel it on a bare lip as opposed to feel it on top of a bit of lip liner. But I love this shade, which is why I picked this shade again, because I love it with a lip pencil and I know how it works and I feel like it does exactly the same thing, if not slightly better, because it's just easier, quicker, silkier and nicer. So I like this a lot. I think it's good. I think it's really nice. I would actually like to see more shade variation from brands. Like I do like the fact that I've got this shade that I really like with a lip liner, but it would be really nice if I could find more shades around that I could just wear on their own. And it's something I feel like I've been looking for a lot recently, um, just because sometimes you get bored of having to do an ombre lip, especially when you see things like this, which are supposed to be helpful because you can just wear it all over your lip without having to line your lips. Uh, but if the actual shade itself isn't a flattering shade for you on its own, then it's quite hard. Now, I do know there are other shades available, but I didn't feel like any of those would have actually achieved the look I was looking for and it achieved that kind of natural lip color on their own that I was looking for that wasn't just like a brown or a red or like a burgundy or a plum so that's just something to note that's just something I'm looking for in 2024 so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys do you like the look of this will you be buying it will you be trying it have you got any of these power matte lip pencils already what do you think of the new shades have you seen any other shades that you're intrigued by I'm liking this in terms of the blush I feel like it wears well I think it was a bit of a mess because I was doing it on camera and I kind of just splodged it all over my face but actually the colour itself I feel like looks really nice. That was the shade Insatiable and I feel like I do get quite a lot in this. It is 7 mils, but it does feel quite substantial. I do like the packaging of this. It feels fun. It feels glossy. It feels disco. Uh, it feels really different for a blush, which I do like. Sometimes mixing it up. The other blushes I have are all starting to look a little bit samey. This feels very different, so I do like that about this. The primer itself feels nice. I don't know if it feels as good as my Dior. I don't know if my face looks as flawless underneath as my Dior uh, does, but obviously it's only the first time I've tried it, so I will keep testing it and let you guys know 
I guess at the end of the year, if not sooner, how I'm enjoying this. Um, but yeah, so, so far so good. Some really good products from NARS I tried today. Definitely my favourite has to be the lip pencil, but I do feel like this blush has legs, so I will keep trying it and using it and doing it in front of a mirror and not a camera. Also guys, I'm going to do a quick check-in. I've been wearing this for 15 minutes. It is now 1.32, so let's say since 1.15. Um, so I will check back in with you guys throughout the day and let you know how it was. Hi guys, it is 2.12, so almost 2.15. I thought I would do a check-in with you. I'm really liking the way this feels and wears. It just looks like a really good shade. Works really well with my lip pencil. And so I think for an hour, hour's wear, I think for an hour's wear it still looks really good. I like the shade, I like the finish. Still got like a full lip, colour of lip, <laughs> colour of lip full lip uh so yeah i like it i like it a lot very nice very very nice i would definitely recommend it so far i forgot to mention this is 32 us dollars um as well as 25 pounds so very nice so far i'm enjoying it i'm feeling it i'm feeling it i'm feeling very alpine today okay um i will do another check-in a bit later and see if it's still on hi guys um sorry i've got this in my eyes i was watching something very emotional um so it is now let's see the time it is now 3 55 i've been wearing this for what, two almost three hours um as you can see the lips have gone uh, so it's definitely not 12 hour wear but it was really nice while whilst it lasted i did really enjoy it um my makeup looks a bit bizarre now because i literally was just crying um but yeah all of the lipstick has gone my lips do feel a tiny bit dry not massively just a tiny bit so that is um a three hour i guess wear test so i'll probably leave it there because there's no lipstick left really loved this shade i really like the way it wore i really loved it with my lip liner i thought that was just such a nice combination and um yeah i really liked it It was good 12 hour wear no definitely not three hours if you're lucky but it, it was a good lipstick and i will definitely keep using it and wearing it i really really like it. really like it and i really like um how it looked and how it wore and how it applied as well so definitely one um i would recommend and definitely one i would um will keep using and maybe potentially buy another shade depending on what shades come out so yeah let me know your thoughts guys thanks so much Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.